Well, hello everyone! So, running a YouTube channel that almost exclusively covers Harry Potter games when two out of the three games are not even out yet can get a little bit difficult. But then again, who doesn't like a challenge? A while ago already, it was announced that the big RPG Harry Potter game Hogwarts Legacy that we've all been waiting for probably like 20 years will be released on multiple platforms, consoles, so PlayStation, Xbox, PC and also Nintendo Switch. Now, do I think it's a good decision? It really depends. When it comes to AAA RPG games with stunning visuals, I do think that consoles and a reasonably large display is the way to go. But I'm also aware of the fact that a lot of the people who will be playing or want to play Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out are not gamers and currently do not possess a solid gaming PC or the latest generation consoles, which frankly at the moment are either sold out or hugely overpriced. And I don't think anyone can argue that buying a new or even used device for the sake of playing one game when you also have to buy the game itself, which also gets pretty pricey, is not necessarily the most reasonable and smart idea. So from that perspective, the Nintendo Switch with a comparatively much smaller price tag enters back into the competition. But of course, one game and a slightly smaller price is not really a selling argument. Not for everyone and definitely not for me. If I'm gonna buy a device, I want to know for sure that I will be making use of it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a Switch hater. In fact, I really, really like the smaller devices. There's games that are available on other platforms that I still play on my phone, like TFT, simply because I just find it more comfortable. And the Nintendo Switch, whilst I don't personally own one, it has been on my maybe someday kind of wish list for a few years now. So one of the factors that I do consider before making any sort of big purchase is just how much use I'm gonna make of it. In my case, of course, buying a Switch for the sake of playing Hogwarts Legacy is not really an argument because I do luckily own a PS5, but in retrospect, if I didn't have the console, would I buy one? One game is obviously not enough. You need more options, something that you will be using the device for after you finish the game or you just want something different. But if you're like me and if if you're watching my channel, you most likely are, then you most likely have a peculiar taste when it comes to games. So I took it upon myself to look into what other magical Harry Potter-like games are available or either coming to Nintendo Switch in case that is the device that you are considering purchasing and just want to see what other games are out there that you could to have fun with. So I'll start with a game that has been available for a while now and has already become a fan favorite. And that is Mages of Mistralia. So in the land of Mistralia, magic has been banned, but every once in a while a child is born who possesses an innate sense of magic. Playing as Zia, a young girl with magical powers, you'll set off the train on your own to gain control over your powers and on your journey, you'll meet other exiled mages and make various magical discoveries. But of course, if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, but you have PC or consoles, this game is available on these platforms as well. The two other games that I want to discuss in this video are not out yet. They're most likely going to be released next year, either early access or full access. So the first one is actually a game that I've already briefly covered on my channel, and that is Spells and Secrets. You can check the video in the link up in the card or down in the description. But just for a quick recap, in Spells and Secrets, you free the wizard school Greifenstein from magical creatures by using your spells creatively. Play in local co-op, customize your own student wizard, solve mysteries and find powerful artifacts in this modern magical world. And the other upcoming project that I want to talk about is Kitori Academy, a game in which you live the adventures of a wizard apprentice with your spirit companion. Train your magical skills and learn how to brew potions, grow vegetables and catch spells to challenge the curse that 
lurks in the world. So I hope you found these titles intriguing and if you are interested in what other magical Harry Potter-like games are available on other platforms as well, then feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on that. And of course, if you're a fan of Harry Potter games available and upcoming and want to improve your gameplay and be ready for the new releases, then once again, the subscribe button is right down there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!